game developers can make games that are really challenging. Thankfully, these games often give you the option to play on a lower difficulty. As a true gamer, it's difficult to switch to easy mode. When we finally pull the trigger and cry a little on the inside, it gets even worse with the games in this video. Get ready for 10 games that troll you for picking easy mode. Sneaking around and taking out enemies without being noticed, it's not an easy thing to do. So sometimes, we don't mind switching a stealth game to easy. But when we did this in Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain, the game sure made fun of us. Besides making the enemies a bit dumber, our character also got to wear a chicken hat. They've only got two options. Heaven or hell. No, there's another. Now everybody knows we picked easy mode for sure. It's like Hideo Kojima himself is judging you for being a chicken. Let me tell you how this is going to work. I'm going to ask you one question. You are going to answer that question in a way I find satisfactory. And if you do not, I will saw your head off with this here appliance, you hear me? In the Wolfenstein series, the developers always picked creative words to describe the difficulty settings. The classic games had four settings and the latest game Wolfenstein The New Order honors this tradition. There's the extremely difficult Uber setting, followed by I Am Death Incarnate, Bring Him On and Don't Hurt Me. We picked the easiest mode called can I play, Daddy? Seeing William J. Blaskovich sucking a soother like a baby really hurt our feelings. Yes, they trolled us by calling us babies. The Ninja Gaiden series is notorious for its high difficulty. It requires excellent timing and reflexes to even finish this game on any difficulty, let alone the Master Ninja difficulty. But the developers still made fun of us when we picked the easiest setting called Ninja Dog Mode. Being called a dog doesn't feel great, but it gets worse. Just die three times in the very first level of the game and Ayane will come to help you out. Master Ryu, or should I say, young ninja Ryu Hayabusa, it seems I have greatly overestimated you. Oh well, we have no choice but to proceed. While she's helping you, she keeps insulting you all the time. Come on, Team Ninja, you made this game difficult on purpose and make fun of us for being unable to deal with it? Not cool, bros. Don't be overconfident. Just do what I say and perform your duties as competently as you can. Hey, Spider. Hey, Black Cat, what's going on? I know there's been some trouble, but the bank's being robbed and they've got hostages. Back in the PlayStation 1 era, there was a Spider-Man game that was actually worth playing. As with every game, Spider-Man offers several difficulty settings. The developers really made the easiest setting not appealing at all, as they called it Kids Mode. To make things worse, you hear kids screaming Kids Mode when you select it. Kid Mode! Kid Mode! Kid Mode! Kid Mode! Kid Mode! Kid Mode! The Kid Mode made the game practically play itself, to the point that entire sections of the game are skipped entirely. It removes certain puzzles and boss fights and even takes away control of Spider-Man from time to time. Guess they really weren't kidding when they came up with Kids Mode. Follow my Spidey compass. The adventure games by LucasArts belong to the best the genre has ever produced. Everything is excellent, especially the story and the comedy. Easy mode is called Monkey 2 Light. The developers mentioned this version of the game is for beginners and magazine reviewers. We all know reviewers play games on easy mode just to meet their editorial deadline, right? To 
to make things worse, many of the puzzles in this light mode are simply gone. Yep, that sure is easy indeed. Mickey Mouse Castle of Illusion is a true gem in the world of platform games, but it's also a game that trolled us. When starting this Sega Genesis game, you get the option for practice and normal mode. Practice mode is basically easy mode, or should we say super easy mode. This mode is so simple you finish it in a few minutes, after which the game asks you to play the game in normal mode, because that's what we were supposed to do in the first place. Okay guys, we get it. The Dishwasher Vampire Smile is not only a great title for a game, it also has a pretty funny easy mode. This game will give you a special easy mode when you die 4 times in a row at the same location. It's called Pretty Princess Difficulty and unlocks an achievement about how pleased game reviewers will be with it. You hardly take damage and the damage you take almost instantly regenerates. It's so easy, it's insulting! Okay, so this time around, the game didn't give you this option from the start, but unlocking this mode is a giant troll. Years ago, 50 Cent was one of the biggest icons in pop culture. His own third-person shooter was called 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. It was actually quite an enjoyable game and reminded us a lot of Gears of War. The developers decided easy mode should be super easy and if you died, you deserve to be humiliated. So when your body hits the sand in easy mode, you unlock the achievement not bulletproof. And of course, it doesn't add points to your gamer score either. When it comes to shooters, Serious Sam already doesn't take things very serious. This over-the-top shooter has enemies running at you like maniacs. Normally, there's blood and gore everywhere. But Serious Sam HD, the first encounter, also offers a happy fun mode. The mode is less challenging and makes fun of you by replacing blood and gore with flowers and sparkles. Yes, sparkles. As if this game takes place in a world full of unicorns and My Little Pony. We wish more developers would make downright silly stuff like this. Valkyrie Profile is one of those old-school classic JRPGs made by Enix. You know, before it merged with Squaresoft and became Square Enix. In this role-playing game, you have the option to pick easy mode. This removes many dungeons and therefore some crucial items. May I ask a favor? Would you take off your helmet? <laughs> this also makes it far more difficult to level up your party. And even though you start at level 30, you will not be able to increase your stats as much as you would in normal mode. So actually, easy mode is far more difficult than normal mode. Now that's some serious trolling. Have you ever been trolled by a game? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and get notified when we upload new videos.